Hello chess friends, how are you? Today I will show you the game 4 between Alpha Zero and Stockfish, he have white pieces against me, this is the same classical game which you play in your toilet or bedroom, before you go to your school or work, here Alpha started the game with e4, we have c5 knight f3 and I played e6, French variation of Sicilian defense, Alpha can play knight c3 or d4, he played d4, pawn takes knight captures d4, knight c6 knight c3. In this position you can play bishop fumetto on kingside, if black plays it then just simply develop your pieces, move out your bishops, a3, I played a6, I can play bishop b4 or b5 on my next turn, we have bishop e3 knight f6, here alpha can play a6 to protect that square or bishop c4 standard lines, but we have new move from alpha 0, queen f3, to having control over the diagonal and file, this queen move also leading the king to castle on queen side, so queen c7, alpha played castle as expected. There is a top line knight e5 which I didn't played in the game, let me show you the variation, knight e5 queen g3 b5, then alpha will sacrifice his bishop on b5, a takes b5 knight takes b5 queen b8 to protect the knight, then alpha will play bishop f4, d6 to hold the position, you may say, everything is protected, White losses the bishop and he have no attacks, but you are a stockfish subscriber, if you are not, then just subscribe it, here we will play rook takes d4 to sacrifice the rook. Best move is to play knight h5, let me show you the variation, knight h5 will target both of the pieces, so queen g5, threatening to mate with the rook, you have to take the rook with bishop, knight takes d6 check queen takes d6 bishop takes e5, this targets to the queen and the knight at the same time. Don't be afraid to lose because you are a stockfish subscriber, play rook a5 to pin the bishop, bishop can't move so f4, to give support both of these pieces, black will play knight takes d4, takes. And after rook takes queen bishop takes d6, materials will be equal and the game would continue like this, but in this position, if you think why not bishop takes rook, if you take the rook then knight takes bishop check will come, queen takes d6 bishop, takes e5 and after some moves later, we will get this position, white will get lead advantages and he will go to eat black pieces, so back to the current position, we have rook b8, I have bishop b4 and b5 move on my next turn, bishop e2 bishop b4. e5, alpha sacrificed his first pawn and the pawn is targeting to the knight, if you try to save the knight with knight d5, then knight takes d5 will come, pawn takes d5 knight f5 to target the g7 pawn, so if you castle on kingside then alpha will sacrifice the knight on g7, after king takes g7 there is a another sacrifice, bishop h6, if you take the bishop, then queen f6 will face you checkmate to the king, so in this position if you play, king g8 then queen g3 check and that's it, checkmate is unstoppable. That means that your king is trapped, so back to the position, I have to accept the pawn sacrifice, queen g3 castle on short side, alpha played bishop h6, it's not a bishop sacrifice, so knight e7, here alpha sacrificed his bishop, by taking the pawn, knight takes g7, alpha's h pawn is ready to create problems but it will be too late so alpha sacrificed his another knight on d5, threatening to go on f6 to give a check and target the pawn, so king h8 queen h4 to target the pawn. If you push the pawn then queen g5 will come to get h6 square, so, here I have to accept alpha's third material sacrifice, now we have knight f6 to checkmate on one move, if you block it with knight g6, you may think, it blocks the knight, ha ha ha, no fool, you will lose your queen on c7, you will lose your queen so back to the position, I give up my knight by playing knight d3 check rook takes d3, its lead to a queen exchanges, rook takes g3, and this is targeting to the knight so king slides to h8. Rook takes knight, bishop c5 rook to g4, bishop takes f2 rook f1 to get the f file, bishop back to b6, we have rook h4, d6, this open ups the light square bishop line but it loses the pawn on d6, bishop check, king b1 bishop to e6, bishop d3, h6, knight f5 to target the pawn with two pieces, so I take the knight rook takes f5, and chess friends, if you want more episodes like this then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, we have rook d8 rook h3.
Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.